Good day fellow investors and welcome to the stock market news that really matter for your investing. Earnings season is starting, the Brexit, the wall, the shutdown, doesn't really matter. Today I'm going to discuss really news or old news, but that is crucial for everyone's investing. Let's start. The world population is about 7.6 billion right now. The population will reach 9.8 billion in 30 years, in 2050. So that growth of 2.48 billion is about 29% of the population. If there is 29% more people, you can expect also more business, also globally. Further, on GDP, the economy, the GDP is expected to grow at 3.6% per year, according to the International Monetary Fund. If I just take 3% in a negative case scenario, then the current GDP, gross domestic product per human on the globe should grow from 10,700 US dollars in 2017 to 25,000 in 2050. That's a 2.5 times increase. However, we must not forget that there is always inflation because the GDP increase is measured in real terms, thus adjusted for inflation. And if we look at inflation, in our human history that spans, what, 8,000 years, there has never been a currency that has held its value. So you can expect, and it's constantly being done through inflation, all the values of our currencies to decline over time. If you go back 30 years, what was then $1 now is 2, because you need $2 now to buy what you could buy for $1 back in 1989. So this means that add the increase in demand and the increase in growth, we will see our demand revenue quintuple over the next 30 years. And that's extremely important if you are investing in businesses and extremely important to keep in mind over the long term. However, inflation over the last 30 years for, was very low. And if we take an example of the inflation that was around from the 50s, 60s till the 80s, then it will not just quintuple because back then the difference was four times. One dollar value in 1959 became four dollars in 1989. This means that our GDP per capita could go from the current 10,000 to 100,000 over the next 30 years. So imagine revenues of the businesses you own, you invest in, expand 10 times over the next 20, 30 years. If it is a great business, it means that probably revenue is going to expand 20 times, profitability is going to increase even more, and then you're going to see a stock that earns 20, 50, 100 times more what it earns now. So if you own now a dividend of 1% in 30 years, it might be a dividend of 100% of on what you are paying now. And this is long-term investing. This is what is going on in the world. What we can expect, how to invest over the next 30 years, there will be more consumers, more waste. We need more number of planets, more resources, and the number of tons of resources extracted from Earth is going to grow, grow, grow. We will need more food, more technologies. We will need more electricity. The number of cars worldwide is set to double by 2040. Let's hope they will be electrical. So there you have another trend where you have to invest smartly. And I firmly believe that this long-term attitude is the biggest advantage we retail investors have because the market, the index funds, the analysts are all focused on the next quarter, on this quarter and on the next few quarters and then they are adjusting their models. I'm telling you, revenues in general will quintuple or 10x over the next 30 years. You cannot put that in a model, its models become futile. The thing you can focus on is, okay, what is the investment that will give me a margin of safety that will be there in the next 30 years? Tomorrow with Yao Kai, we're going to discuss a stock, Beijing Capital Airport. We know that the airport is going to be there in 30 years, which makes it an attractive investment for the long term. However, more about that tomorrow, so tune in tomorrow. Further, you have to see, okay, what, how can I position myself to be there over 30 years? And that's why people always talk about competitive advantages, uh, durable moats, good businesses, good management, 
profitable businesses, low debt that can sustain whatever, because then you can take advantage of what's going on. However, I'm emphasizing this, the long-term attitude, the long-term investing mindset, looking at the next decades is our most powerful advantage because 99% of the investing population is focused on the short term. For example, Morgan Stanley, we have now earning season, a worst on bond trading sense stock, lower, blah, blah, blah. Then we have these guys uh, dealing over how much hamburgers someone eat, uh, building a wall. And in Europe, everybody's focused on the Brexit, it will happen, it might happen, it will all be fine in the next 10, 20, 30 years. What I want to focus on is compounding cash flows investing over the long term, exactly what Buffett has been doing. When you take a look at Berkshire's cash pile over the last 20 years, 30 years, you see that it was just a compounding machine of businesses that did extremely well over the long term. Taking into account inflation, taking into account economic growth, taking into account demographic growth and all those kind of things that Buffett looks at when he buys Coca-Cola and things like that, he got it that those businesses will increase their prices, do better, increase their margins and he will be making more and more dividends that will pile onto his account, insurance in his case also, more money, more reinvesting, more compounding, more growth. The only key with him is that he focused on finding those businesses that will be there in the next 10, 20, 30 years, sit down, sit back, enjoy the ride and let the dividends, let the compounding, let the reinvestments come in. And that's it. When you find such businesses, thanks to the market's my, myopic attitude, thanks to the market's short-term attitude, you can get those businesses often let's say one in three, one times in three years, very, very cheap. And that's exactly what I will be focusing on with this channel. So please subscribe. And that's exactly what I'm focusing on with my investments, with my portfolio. And whoever is interested can check my stock market research platform. There is my portfolio, my analysis, everything that I do. So the link is in the description below. So my focus is, okay, let, find, let me find investments that are currently cheap, that will be there over the next 10, 20, 30 years, that will constantly increase their earnings, their dividends, whatever, that will compound that over the long term so that I can have a bigger and bigger compounding machine over the next 30 years that takes advantage of the increase in revenues that I expect to be 10x globally because global GDP in a nominal way will probably increase 10x over the next 30 years. And this is the most important piece of information. One should always hold high when investing in stocks, when doing whatever. Then it always boils down also to research, to find those stocks as it has Buffett been doing, to find those stocks that will deliver, that will lead you, that will allow you to take advantage of what will be happening over the next decades. So thank you for watching. Send me an email if you have any questions uh, in private. If you have any questions that you would like to add value to this, to add value to other viewers, please write them in the comments below. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow when we'll discuss Beijing Capital Airport.